Have a pleasant day everyone. The Driven Eagle Viewpoints will be focusing on health-based topics to educate and enrich our streamers regarding good, healthy habits. The title of our vlog this moment is Broiled Liver, Sinugbang Atay, Health Vlogginar 1, Liver Health. This is your content provider and health educator, Pros Gonzaga Jr., known to my students as Sernoy, a registered nurse happily extending the health messages through our blog platform. In this vlog, we will have PowerPoint presentations which will be in Ilongo, but the verbal lecture will be in English. The purpose of this is to reach also our locally based streamers which are interested in our health messages. It is our hope that you will still be with us in this vlogging community when we shift our attention to health-based contents. Our first health focus is broiled liver. We will be talking about the effects of a liver that has been broiled due to health abuses done by humans owning the liver. I hope you will give your utmost concentration because the next liver that might be broiled is yours. Have a pleasant evening everyone. Advent message of healthy lifestyle topic for this moment is broiled liver. In the dialect, we call it Sinugba Ngaatay. In the general Tagalog translation, we call it Inihaw Ngaatay. It's very delicious. It is very salivating. If we can see this, this is the broiled liver or Sinugba Ngaatay. However, what if the liver that we are broiling is not actually the liver of a chicken or a beef or a cow, but it is the liver of a human being which might be you or me? Are there situations that you yourself, you are burning or putting under fire? your liver and making it a broiled liver dear listeners is it possible that you are the one that is putting on fire so that your liver will be completely burnt are you a member of the very very well-known sunog atay gang or in english liver burners dear listeners and viewers our text for consideration is found in 1st Corinthians 6 19 and 20 it says do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you whom you have received from God you are not your own. You were brought or you were bought at a price, therefore honor God with your bodies. Yes, dear streamers, our body is the temple of God. This is never ours because God 
is there staying inside our heart. Dear streamers, let us now identify why is it that our body organ called liver is very important to the holistic function of the human body. What will happen if we will have a dysfunctional liver? The importance of the liver. Our liver is placed by God in our system to convert raw foods into the kind of food or the kind of device that is needed by our body organs and cells. So if you notice, dear streamers, we eat raw food like raw guavas, raw apples, but it will still be devised and designed and convert and be converted by the liver to what is really needed inside the blood vessels as it will be forwarded to the cells and the body organs. It is also the liver that is training or stopping things that is included in our diet which is considered poison or not needed in the circulation. That is why if we eat, not all of the food is needed by our cells or our body organs. Okay? And the one that is removing or stopping that one from entering into the actual food that is being forwarded in the blood vessels is the liver. Another function is the liver is the one assigned to have the secret wherein how is the raw food okay, made into the systemic food that it will be needed by the body. If you notice there, streamers, if you eat guava, can you just imagine if guava will go directly into the bloodstream, into the um, blood vessels? It will destroy or tear down the blood vessels. Now, it is the liver's function to make this one, one that can be transported inside the blood vessels and one that is automatically be useful by our body systems, body organs, and cells. Now, after knowing that our liver plays a general principal role in our body existence, let us now shift to the question, how do we destroy our liver? Yes, how do we broil our liver unknowingly at times with our habits that tends to be negative to our liver health? How do we burn or broil our livers? First, the too much drinking of beer and rum that we can just buy anywhere in the localities. Dear streamers, beer is a very strong acid. Its effect will be too much for the stomach. According to one research, this is a liquid that when you put it in a tire that has a diameter or shall we say a thickness of 1 cm, this will little by little wither or loosen or soften the tire and it will come out thinner. Well, our liver is not as thick as a tire and that is why when we are drinking beer and rum, it will really burn our liver. Second reason. If you drink gin or whiskey, that in reality, ideally, this should not be sold to minors because this is only, according to our law, available to 19 years old and above. However, the minors can still buy this anytime at the stores because the law is not implemented. Now, the drinking of gin and whiskey 
is also a reason for broiling our livers. It was discovered in Europe that when you drink gin or rum, it will make, okay, it will make things hot. According to their experiment, they put the gin and the rum in one container and then they put something there and in 30 minutes, that something was already cooked or softened. This is one of the characteristic wherein if you drink gin or rum, it will soften your liver and make it bloated because of its characteristic of getting heated hotter and hotter while it becomes many by volume. That is why later on, it will make your liver crumpled and then it will be wounded and then there goes the danger that will start with your liver. The third reason is the too much drinking of tablets, medications, capsules, and even prescribed medications. This has a collateral damage to our body, especially the liver. The strength of the chemical inside that medication, when it reaches our liver, it can destroy the liver and again, it will cause wounds, it will cause um, stabbings that if we will technically interpret it, that is cirrhosis. Okay? Why? Because medications are still chemicals. Now bear it in mind, dear streamers, there are no medications, especially in tablet forms, that has no side effect. Let me emphasize it again. There are no medications that are inside the tablet or the capsule form that has no side effects. That is why this is the reason that when you do not have any sickness on hand, Please do not drink medication just because you want it or you just feel like drinking it. Why? Because our liver will suffer a lot. It might broil our liver. Fourth reason. The drinking of coffee, carbonated drinks, and anything that contains caffeine, this will make our liver stiff. And inside it, the liver is already heating and rotting. Now, dear streamers, caffeine, which we get from coffee and soft drinks, is a chem chemical that makes our liver very stiff or cement-like. Now, if your liver is cement-like or stiff, it cannot function freely and it cannot contact with other organs, making it non-functional. If this will start to stiff already or some parts of the liver become stiff, then there are already functions of the liver that will not happen or lessened functions of the liver. And again, the liver will crumple. And later on, because of this, it will end up wounded and it will also result to cirrhosis. If our liver is already destroyed, what will happen to our body? What will happen to our health? And most especially, what are these distractions to the liver and how do each of them affect the functions of the liver in specific and the whole body in general? Possible results of a destroyed liver or shall we say a liver that was already broiled. 
First, liver cirrhosis. What is this? This is the occurrence wherein our liver becomes um, wounded. And this will already have very minimal function to convert the raw food into the needed food of the specialized systems and the cells in our body. Liver cirrhosis is a very dangerous body condition or liver condition. Why? Because if this will grow worse, it can lead to liver failure. And you can just imagine if the liver is failing, okay, your body has no more strainer for dirt, your body has no more converter for food, your entire body organs and cells will starve. Next, fatty liver. This is a condition wherein your liver is having difficulty of functioning. Why? Because around it, there is oil or there is actually fats. Now, if oil and fats are all around the liver, the liver cannot convert food, the liver cannot strain food, and because of this, food contacting with the liver, which is already becoming very brittle because of the presence of oil and fat, it will still wound the liver and make it scratchy. This is still resulting to cirrhosis of the liver. Next, you will have ascites. Ascites is an occurrence wherein the stomach of the person becomes big. This is because the body cannot absorb any more liquid that should have been absorbed to circulation and passed on through all the body parts and cells. The problem is the liver is already defective enough and water cannot be transported or water cannot be made to enter the organs because the liver is dysfunctional. Now, the stoppage of the liquid outside of the liver is causing the stomach to bloat or to become big. Now, ascites is one of the major sign of a complete liver failure. Now, to culminate all of these um, liver defects, if you will not if you will not cure ascites, if you will not cure fatty liver, if you will not cure cirrhosis of the liver, the end point is liver cancer. This is a condition wherein the liver has already complete dysfunction, which means it cannot already do any of its functions such as conversion of food, straining of food. And because of this, this cancer will dwell on the liver and it might even travel to other body organs of the person because the liver is in high contact with um, blood circulation. Now, as of the moment, there are still or there is still no concrete remedy for a liver cancer. We have already seen how dangerous liver diseases can be as a result of our irresponsibility in broiling our livers. Now, the best healthy option is still prevention. How can you and I prevent ourselves from broiling our own liver how can you evade or prevent liver broiling or liver defects first diet moderation it is 
advised that you will minimize the use of oil in the food that we eat. If you can have um, other ways of cooking the food without oil, just like when you cook bean, uh, when you cook beans, okay, you can do it in a saute type rather than frying type. Okay, that will be good. Another is limit the intake of food which has a lot of fats and oil. So these foods include uh, pork, beef, and all the other meat that has really presence of fats and oils. Then, Eat a lot of vegetable, especially the green leafy vegetable, because this can help in healing and making your circulation healthy. Number two, stop alcohol drinking. Stop your alcohol drinking before it will reach to a point that its damages caused in the liver in a form of cirrhosis and cancers will not be any more reversible by medication. This liver will go into broiling and then it may cause death. It is very important that we understand why we should stop drinking. Because if we will not understand why we should stop drinking, we will just stop to follow, but not for reason, then there is still a very big chance that you will drink again. However, if you will stop drinking because you want to protect your liver and you understand that, then that is a very good way to desensitize and slowly but surely stopping from alcohol drinking. Next, have work or exercise. If you always move, if you always exercise, this will um, soften the fats and the oil in our liver. And by this, it will be what? It will be flowed out of circulation and it will not be stiff or cemented in short dear streamers if we always move the oil and the fats will have no time to concretize itself or cement itself so if we move they will fall into the circulation and then they will just move out of the body because they will be liquefied then Exercise will also help in the fastening and effective circulatory function of our body. If we always move and exercise, maybe do some gardening or do some work or do some uh, brisk walking, then it will help in blood circulation and blood can reach the significant parts of our body, including the liver. Next here is, have a bi-yearly complete blood count. Well, blood counts are done in laboratories. If we have access to these laboratories, one of the ways to become preventive to become proactive in taking care of our health is to take care of it before you are uh, having sickness. One of this is to have your CBC. This is the easiest way and the most trusted way that you can monitor the blood contents of your body including the other chemicals that are in your body that may cause circulation to um, to become weak or circulation to become slow and then by this the doctor can advise you what to do 
what exercises to do, and what things to do for intake so that you can control this situation we called as atherosclerosis or the thickening of our blood vessels. Now, after knowing the details in broiled liver or sinugbang atay or inihaw ng atay, how about you, dear vlogmates? What is the condition of your livers? Are you healthy enough to say you are not broiling your liver? Dear streamer, how is your personal conditional, especially the condition of your liver? Are you still broiling your liver? Now again, it's very delicious. It is very salivating. If you can see with your eyes, sinugba ngatay. Or we can also call it inihaw natay, or in English, broiled liver. However, let us always remember what if the liver we are talking here is your own liver because you are doing some bad health habits that causes your liver to be broiled. Dear streamers, you still have time. Do not broil your liver. Do not put fire and burn your liver because it can cause you to die. Remember, 50% of liver cancer patients trace this one from alcohol drinking. 35% from diet-related abuses of fatty foods such as pork, beef, or chicken. 10% is related to multiple medication intake and medication abuse. And 5% of the data is unknown. It is very evident that liver cases, liver diseases, liver dysfunctions are still highly seen. In fact, 50% of them comes from alcohol drinking. It's about time to stop drinking and stop for a reason. According to Proverbs 20 verse 1, Wine is a mocker, strong drink is a brawler, and whoever is led astray thereby is not wise. Dear vloggers and streamers, we have just concluded our healthy lecture that focused on the liver and our liver systems. This is under the focus title Broiled Liver or Sinugbang Atay or inihaw na atay. It is my fervent hope that you have enriched your medical and health knowledge as well as you have educated yourselves on how to be away from things that will destroy your liver and also my liver. Until the next health vlog, this is your Jervin Eagle Viewpoints Health Focus Vlogging and this is your content provider Rose Gonzaga Jr., known to my students as Sir Noy, a registered nurse and experienced health lecturer who is always ready to share knowledge to you, dear vlogmates. Until our next health focus vlog, God bless.